sea off the Australian coastline, it's smooth sailing aboard the 42,000 ton liner Oriana. She's been called the new queen of the seas, so the crew makes sure everything is ship-shaped for the royal welcome that awaits her. She's on course for Sydney, and the seagull's eye view of her bow shows her speed. The Oriana is the biggest passenger ship built in Britain since the Queen Elizabeth, and she's the last word when it comes to luxury. While drinks are served to passengers in comfortable lounges, there are plenty of other pastimes, like table tennis. Stabilizers keep the big liner steady, and that helps to make the deck sports easier too. And to cool off, you can take your choice of three swimming pools on the great new liner. It's really seagoing luxury aboard this ship. Even the crew have a swimming pool of their own. Oriana, with a full load of passengers, has made her maiden voyage to Australia in record time, completing the 12,000 mile voyage in 26 days. And there's no doubt about it, this is the life. But Sydney is approaching, and the big ship enters the harbour to the toots and hails of a fleet of small craft. The gleaming 15 million pound ship becomes the first to use the new overseas passenger terminal in Sydney Cove. Sleek and powerful, the Oriana provides a new sea link with Britain and really proves herself to be the new queen of the seas.